السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ وی آر ان انگلینڈ مارکیٹ کینٹ ایریا اینڈ دس از دی مسجد ماسک دی بگیسٹ اینڈ دا اونلی ماسک ان دس ایریا اینڈ کینٹ از دی بگیسٹ کاؤنٹی ان انگلینڈ اینڈ دا نیم آف دا مسجد از مسجد البیر الحمد للہ بردر محمد شیخ از ان انگلینڈ ناؤ اینڈ ہی از آفرنگ جمعہ پریئر ان دس ماسک اینڈ دی کیپیسٹی آف دس ماسک فار دا نمازی آر مور دین ایٹ ہنڈریڈ پیپل اینڈ دس از دا ماسک اینڈ دس از اٹس نیم ریٹن برادر محمد شیخ ول بی آفرنگ جمعہ پریئر ایز اے امام ہیئر ہی ول بی دی امام ان جمعہ پریئر اینڈ I will give you in my in ayahs and an explanation in verses. What is Al-Quran? Mostly the non-speaking people, Arabic non-speaking people do not know the meaning of Al-Quran. Al-Quran means the reading. The Quran, the first revelation is read. The Quran, read. Quran, the reading. So whenever you read the Quran, the word comes, Al-Quran, it means the reading of the book, Al-Kitab. When you read a book in front of you that is written on a piece of paper or, a, or on a book, what is being written down in front of you, that is the book. And when you read, that is Quran. And for that verification, I will read an ayah, Surah Yunus 10 and Ayah 37. وَمَا كَانَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ أَنْ يُفْتَرَى مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ وَلَكِنْ تَصْدِيقَ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ وَالتَّفْصِيلَ الْكِتَابُ لَا غَيْبَ فِيهِ مِنْ رَبِّ الْعَالَبِينَ And this Quran, the reading, is not that can be produced by other than Allah. But it is a confirmation, a verification that is in front of you. And it's a detail of Al-Kitab, the book. There is no doubt in it from the Lord of the worlds. Now in this ayah, you will notice the word Quran and Al-Kitab has occurred. Al-Quran, وَمَا كَانَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ أَنْ يُفْرَى مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ وَلَكِنْ تَصْدِيقَ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ وَتَفْصِيلَ الْكِتَابِ When I read the book, you will feel the description of the book is coming to you. The detail of the book. Whenever you read a book, the detail comes to you. When you don't read the book, it's just lying in, a, in your library. You don't get anything. So it's not unusual that I'm reading, that you read a book, the detail comes from it. From what are you reading? The book. So in this eye, we have come to know that Al-Quran, the reading, is a confirmation what is in front of you and what, and it gives the detail of the book. La ghaiba fi mi rabbil alami, and that is from the Lord of the worlds. Similar understanding that will come to you other places as well, the Quran. Another word, Surah, I read an ayah, Surah Waqiyah 56. 77 to 80. Surely it is indeed a Quran, a the reading, honorable. Not a normal reading. We are reading the Al-Kitab, the Book of Allah, is honorable. 
fi kitab in madnoon it is hidden in a written book it is a hidden in a book this book when you hold the quran the book in your hand that i'm holding a piece of paper that's hidden the reading quran is hidden in a book la yamassuhu illa al-mutahhar man can touch it until you purify not general purification as you become muslims we do taharat from the wuzu or we take a bath but there is also a psychological purification when non muslim read the book he has has not done perform uh, this wuzu but he intends to read the book for guidance or for for uh, for his betterment so when he is reading a book he has to purify it here or he's trying to fall, find force in the book so you will not touch the essence of the quran the reading from the book so the purification is based on your intent why are you reading the book if you want to take guidance from the book then the guidance will come to you so this book is hidden in the real book in the real form the quran the reading and the spirit of allah is hidden in the words and when you read it and you ponder it but you will get the essence when you want to purify or you purify yourself uh, changing your personality towards the goodness in that content it becomes easy and guidance for you if you don't so you will not be able to touch the spirit of the book or the quran the reading of the book tanzilum wa rabbil alamin is the revelation from the lord of the worlds then further where the quran is preserved surah al buruj 21 and 22 بل هو قران مجيد في لوح محفوظ but it is a glorious quran the reading is glory reading في لوح محفوظ it is preserved in a tablet not generally understanding is the tablet is with allah there is no dispute about that but in the world you will see hafiz who has preserved the quran the reading So Allah says, "Bal huwa Quran al-Majid." This is the Quran, the glorious, glorious reading. He in Lauh al-Mafuz, it is preserved in a tablet. When the Hafiz preserved the Quran, we say it is in his memory or from the heart. We give words to the things, but Allah says it is a tablet, not a physical tablet, but a psychological tablet. Where when the Imam or the Hafiz read. the pages come in front of him is is that tablet is preserved in a tablet and that allah says fi lauh mahfuz it is preserved in a tablet so if the if the book quran the book form in the whole world or disk are put to fire but there will be hafiz from all over the world children young adults men and women from different nationalities and language of the world they can reproduce this book because that allah has made it preserved in a tablet of a human kind mankind it is there so this book allah's book is preserved in a tablet you can see the hafaz have been preserving this book from ages now if you want to argue about this that uh, when the quran was there and when the book was there so you i will ask you that whether the mankind allah said adam was created so if you say uh, mankind was there or the quran was there it was preserved in in in, a, in the tablet of a human being so there is no ancient time whenever the time in the world the book is pre- preserved in the hearts of minds or in a tablet of mankind from the day man came into this world so Generally, Quran is in Arabic, and in Arabic, uh, generally people think that the Quran is in Arabic because it is it, it, the revelation came in the Arab world. So, but when you read the Quran, Allah explains why Allah has chosen the Arabic language. Surah Hamid, forty-one, ayah forty-four. ولو جعلناه قرآنا أعجميا لقالوا لولا فصلت آياته أعجم وعربي قل هو للذين آمنوا 
ودم وشفاء والذين لا يؤمنون في آذان وقر وهو عليهم عمى أولئك ينادون من مكان بعيد and if we have made the Quran the reading other than Arabic if Allah had made this Quran other than Arabic they would have said why not has been his ayahs detailed why the ayahs are not detailed so Allah answers what non-Arabic and Arabic say for those who believe Say for those who believe, it is a guidance. Uh, it is a guidance for those who believe, and those who believe not, there is deafness in the ears, and over them is blindness. And, and, and they are those who are being called from a distance. So if you are an Arabic speaking person, if you do not believe the ayat of the Quran, the understanding and the essence of the Quran, so there is no advantage of the Arabic language. So the Ajmi wa Arabi, what non-Arabic and Arabic? For those who believe, say for those who believe, it is a guidance. So guidance is not based on Arabic or Ajmi or non-Arabic. Guidance is based on your intent, what you want. So you can find in the Arab world, there are Jews, Arabs, there are Christian Arabs, there are atheist Arabs, there are all types of Arabs, not that all the Arab world are Muslims or submitters to Allah, no. So you see the majority of the world, if you take up the Muslims, are non-Arabic speaking. India, China, Russia, America, or any Indonesia, Malaysia, most of the people are non-Arabic speaking. People are in majority the Muslim world. The Arabs are in, in minority. So people have relate this Quran to the Arab world. It is not for, for the Arab world. So the ayat is very clear. <coughs> what non-Arabic Arabic? Qul huwa lilladheena amanu say for those who believe. It is for those who don't worship. It is guidance and healing. Because you are purifying yourself and taking guidance, it becomes a healing. And for those who believe not, whether it's an Arab or whether it's Ajam, who believe not, there is deafness in his ears and a blindness. He can't see, he can't hear. So it is as if he's been called from a very far distance, he can't hear properly. Now, when the Quran was when the Quran was revealed, most of the people know, but I'm just repeating. In the month of Ramadan, Surah Al Baqarah 2, 185. I'll not go in the full detail of the ayah, but I said a small portion of the ayah to emphasize one thing. شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنِ هُدًا لِلنَّاسِ وَبَيِّنَاتٍ مِّنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَانِ فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمْ الشَّرَى فَلْيَصُمُ Ramadan is the month in which Al-Quran, the reading, has been revealed as a guidance for mankind. And from a criteria, or from a criterion, so for whosoever from, from you is a witness in that month should fast. Now in this ayah we come to know that Ramadan is the month out of 12 months of lunar system. In the month of Ramadan the Quran was sent down or revealed. The purpose of the Quran is a guidance for mankind. A guidance for mankind. The revelation was for the purpose of guidance to mankind. And it is also a criterion to judge between right and wrong. Now when I say criterion, Quran by itself, the reading by itself is a criterion, meaning in the Quran, in the reading of the book, you will find the righteous belief, the believers, the, the behavior of the believers and those who correct themselves. Amanu wa amilu salihat. Those who believe and those who correct themselves. And at the same time, the belief of a Christian is mentioned, the belief of Jews are mentioned, the beliefs of Hindus are mentioned, beliefs of an atheist is mentioned in the book. They say Christ is God. Quran says it. They say Christ, those who reject and say that Christ is God is mentioned in the book. They say Christ is the Son of God is mentioned in the book. 
Wa la taqulu thalatha do not say ten is mentioned in the book. Jesus in the Bible never said I am God or worship me. In the Bible, whole or you know, any version of the Bible. But the Quran says that the people are saying that Christ is God and that is kufur. So it is a criteria, Quran is a criteria you can judge. Do I have that belief? So you can, criteria means the right and wrong, both are written in the book. What is the wrong beliefs and what are the correct beliefs? Both are written in the book. It is a criterion to judge between the ayahs, from the ayahs, the mushrik you can identify, the munafik you can identify, the believers you can identify, and Yehud the Nasara you can identify, and other characters as well. So you have to identify by taking guidance from the book. All these are mentioned in the book Quran. So that is the criterion laid down by Allah in the book Quran, the Quran is the reading. <coughs> and whosoever present in that month, in the month of Ramadan, we fast. So fasting is, if you know what do we do in fasting, that the lawful food, water and lawful food you can, uh, you are not allowed to eat and drink. Drink means <laughs> not drink as well. We're talking about water and the juices and everything. In the month of Ramadan, you can drink and you can drink. You can not supposed to drink and eat before sunrise to sunset. The idea is that the, that idea behind Allah is trying to that you control your psyche. No one is looking at you, but you are not supposed to eat and drink. No one is looking at you. So you control your psyche so that in the 11 months after that, you should develop to control for the wrongs of doing, wrongs that you've been committing. So that you, the taqwa is increased to guard yourself is increased in the month of Ramadan and the focus increase is increased in the month of Ramadan. So that normal 11 months come, you have the ability to control yourself from the wrong acts. Because I was practicing in the month of Ramadan. So you give up bad things in the month of Ramadan. So in the other months, you try to do good. That is what, and the Quran is being recited in the Talawi, the whole Quran. In the Talawi, the Quran is being recited. Now, generally people say that the Quran is a very difficult book to understand. Generally. And it happens that when I started in the book, it was mentioned to me as well that the Quran is a very difficult book. You need a teacher for the Quran. So, brothers and sisters, of course you may need teacher like a mathematician does 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. You, you take up a subject of an ayah, you show me a verse about, about talaq or divorce or marriage or husband-wife relationship, then the, the Quran is all the topics are scattered in the Quran. You have to take up a particular topic and then you have to link those ayahs and then you understand what this topic means. And it, is, it happens that our brain is works like that. Whenever we are small or when we grow up, we don't read a subject for five, six hours. Every uh, uh, one hour, quarter an hour, we suppose we read physics of a physics book. You read this much. From the chemistry book, you read this much. From the mathematics, you read this much. So you, little by little, you read every subject in, in four or five hours. Similarly, Quran starts on the topic in the Quran reading, and then it changes. Then you, you try to complete, then it changes again. Then you try to complete, then it changes again. So now at the end of the, or end of the day, when you finish the Quran, there are changes in the Quran, you have to find out, oh, the, the Adam was mentioned here, the Buddha Islam was mentioned, there is again the connection comes. So you have forgotten where you read that. So you have to take up specific topics to understand in a better way. So now Allah says in the Quran, Walakat Surah Ahmad. Surah Rahman is the 55 surah, and just one, one surah before is Surah Kamal. And Surah Rahman says, Fabi ayyala yirabbikuma tukat diban. Majority of the people know this verse because it is recited number of times in Surah Al-Rahman. And in the, in the Surah Qamar is one Surah before Surah Rahman. In that Surah, Allah is repeated four times. The ayat I'm going to read. 
Surah Kamar is 54 Surah chapter 17 verse, 22 verse, 32 verse, 40 verse. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّنَّ الْقُرْآنِ لِذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ 17, 22 وَلَقَدْ يَسَّنَّ الْقُرْآنِ لِذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ 32 وَلَقَدْ يَسَّنَّ الْقُرْآنِ لِذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ 40 وَلَقَدْ يَسَّنَّ الْقُرْآنِ لِذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ Indeed, we, God of Mercy, we have indeed made the Quran this really easy for you to take guidance or admonition or remember. He is very easy. For who? For help him with the Who want to receive admonition? Who want to take guidance? Who want to want it? One time, if Allah said one time, it is enough. But Allah repeated four times in Surah Kamar to make sure in your mind it is easy. So you don't want to take guidance, it becomes a little part. So you have to know it is easy if I want to take guidance from the Quran. The most easiest book for those who are sincerely striving to take guidance from Allah's book. And for the sentence, he said in Surah Rahman, the next surah, Al Rahman is a merciful God. Allah al Quran. He teaches the reading. Who is your teacher? Allah Himself. Allah al Quran. Khalaq al Insan. He created mankind. He Himself created you. Every individual in the world, from the day one to the, the, to the end day, every man, man is different with psyche and with taste and voices and eyes. Everything is different. But however, he says he teaches the Quran. He knows what is our weaknesses, what is our goodness, what is our best thing. So he says he will teach the Quran. He teaches the Quran. Khalaq al Insan because he has created us. He has created mankind. Allah al Bayan and he teaches the clarification. He teaches the clarification. Now there's two more rights. <coughs> Uh, it's, uh, it is a prerequisite to read the Quran. There is a prerequisite to read the Quran in meaning and understanding. It says Surah 16 and 98 ayat. Faida karat al Quran first ayat billahi mira shaitan al rajim. Whenever you read the Quran, the reading, seek Allah's protection from the shaitan, the stone. Meaning, whenever I am trying to read the Quran or its understanding. The constant prevailing in the environment, it comes in between. So I can't see. Because the concept I know from the hearsay, it comes in between. And then you can't uh, uh, get the spirit of the ayah because it, it hinders. So Allah says, the book is from Allah. So the, 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 the world has conjectured many, many ideas and philosophies about the book. So Allah says, whenever you read the Quran, the reading, First time with Allah, seek Allah's protection. Mina shaitan rajim, from the shaitan, the stone. So whenever you're reading it, immediately the concept will come in your mind. So what you have to do, okay, I know that, okay, fine, stop it. Let me see what the Quran Allah says. So when you stop the thought process there and there, then you will be able to see properly what's written there. Otherwise that covers you and you think I'm right. Or what I know is right, if that is written in the book. No, Allah is trying to say something else. You have been programming to something else. Programming from the hearsay. Every school of thought is talking about many things. So where to find out where lies the truth? Because you are not taking guidance from Allah. You think that guy will explain to me. It is not his responsibility to explain to anybody. It is God's responsibility. <coughs> so another ayah. So one prerequisite, what do you do? A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem. I seek refuge with Allah from the shaitan, the stone. Why? Because I know when I'm reading it, the concept will come in mind. So I will say, no, let me read the ayat and let me understand the ayat. This, this thought process, I'm going to stop. I see what the ayat says. So then you will feel the difference. And further in Surah Allah, it says, uh, in 96, 1 to 5, Iqra khalaq al insana min alaq, Iqra wa al akram, alladhi allama bil khalam, Read in the name of your Lord who created. Created man out of that place. Read. Your Lord is most honorable. He who taught with a pen. 
He taught man which he knew not. Now, if, if you note in these verses, there are two times Allah said, read. What read? The majority of the world, the Muslim labor, Muslim world, are reading this book, whether Indonesian, Malaysian, Pakistani, Indians, all over the world, Bangladesh, and the Arabic. Not with understanding. When Allah says read, means with understanding. There is no book on the planet Earth that you read without understanding, except Quran. The Quran is the most read book all over the world. Every second a book has been read without understanding. So Allah said two times, read in the name of your Lord who created. Before Salat, before anything, read in the name of your Lord. It is honorable. So when Allah said two times, you will note in these verses, is read and two times is addressing insan. He has treated you in Allah, with Allah. Read your Lord's most honorable. When you read his most honorable, he will teach you what you knew not. That's the challenge. When you read the book of God, the essence that comes to you that you knew not before. That is the main thing of the book of Allah. When all the understandings prevail in the market, you think that is what Allah teaches you? No, sorry, brother. So I end this talk of mine by reciting one verse more. Surah Al Furqan, on the day of judgment, the messenger will say, Waqala Rasul, Ya Rabbi, inna qawmit taqadu hadal Qurana mahjura. The messenger will say, Oh my Lord, surely my people, my people took this Quran and abandoned it. They took it? The messenger will call Rasul, Ya Rabbi, inna qawmit taqadu hadal Qurana mahjura. And the messenger will say, Oh my Lord, surely my people took this Quran and abandoned it. And in the end, I read Surah Jasiyah 57 69. What has not the time arrived? For those who believe that their hearts humble from the remembrance of Allah, what is revealed from the truth. And they should not be become like those who have been given this book. Long ages passed over them. Then their hearts became hard and majority of them are liberals. So we should not be of those that ages are passing by without understanding the book. Allah is reminding us, it is not as the time arrived for those who believe that the heart should humble from the remembrance of Allah. The eyes, when you read the eyes, you have done the remembrance of Allah. And what is revealed from the truth and what has been revealed from this truth. And be not like those whom long ages passed over them and their hearts become hard and majority of them were liberals. I end this by talk. So that Allah will azim, we go for salah. ربنا واجعلنا مسلمين لك ومن ذريتنا أمة مسلمة لك وارنا مناسكنا وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا وابعث فيهم رسولا منهم يتلو عليهم آياتك ويعلم الكتاب والحكمة ويزكيهم إنك أنت العزيز الحكيم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار آمين لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعى لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تواخذنا إن نسينا وقطعنا آمين ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته ولا الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقت به وعفونا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا للقوم الكافرين ربنا لا تزيق قلوبنا بعد إذا زيدنا وحب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا 
انك جامع الناس ليوم لا ريب فيه ان الله لا يخلف الميعاد ربنا انك من تدخل النار فقد اغزيته وما للظالمين من انصار ربنا انا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للايمان ان امنوا بربكم فامنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الابرار ربنا واعطنا ما وعد رسولك ولا تخزنا يوم القيامه انك لا تخلف الميعاد ربنا ظلمنا انفسنا وان لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين رب اجعل لي مقيم الصلاه ومن ذريتي ربنا وتقبل دعاء ربنا اغفر لي ولوالدي وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب ربنا هب لنا من ازواجنا وذرياتنا قرة اعين واجعلنا للمتقين اماما سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين
قل انني هداني ربي الى صراط مستقيم دينا قيما ملة ابراهيم حنيفا وما كان من المشركين قل ان صلاتي ونسكي ومحياي ومماتي لله رب العالمين لا شريك له وبذلك امرت وانا اول المسلمين الله اكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله